Hello my lovely Pisces, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings, I am Fifi. For those that are new to my channel, a very warm welcome and cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. So I will be doing your weekly love reading today and Pisces, as you saw from the title, it is you and your person, current feelings, okay? So I will be doing, um, just for this week, the layout, uh, the spread a bit different. So this side, I will be concentrating only on your person, their thoughts, feelings, um, expectations, um, what actions have they done as well or want to do. Um, this side, Pisces, will be you, okay? Your thoughts, your feelings, um, you know, your expectations as well, okay? And if there's anything, Pisces, that you can both agree on, it is straight down here in the middle, which is the mutual energy. So that is, you know, mutual feelings, uh, mutual thoughts, what, you know, maybe even these mutual actions that you want to take as well. Okay, so there will be an extended, but that is 100% optional as well, because I like to make these readings full. Uh, so the purpose of the bonus reading is I'll be focusing solely only on your person. Okay, just going deeper into their thoughts, their feelings, other actions, possible outcome um, as well. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's... Yeah, the link to the um, extended is in the description box below. And for those that are inquiring about uh, your own personal reading, so um, all that information, how to book as well, how to contact me, uh, is also below as well. So let's get straight into it, Pisces. I am going to pull out three cards uh, for your person on this side. Okay, let's get straight into it. Garden Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Pisces person. Thoughts, feelings, actions, what are their expectations? Let's get really deep into um, really just about, yeah, your person side. One more. Just want to get a really good shuffle here. All right. Let's do three shuffles. I just saw that six of ones that wanted to peek out there. They may be wanting some form of victory with you. Sixes are all about healing and harmony as well and balance. All right. So first card. We have the Page of Pentacles here, okay? You could be dealing with a uh, Capricorn, yeah? There could also be an age difference between um, you as well, or something different about you as well. That just makes it more quirky, I suppose, more unique, <laughs> yeah? Um, but yeah, there's a message here. There's something they want to express to you. Okay, we've got the Chariot, Cancer Energy, okay? Well, they definitely want victory. You could be at a distance from your person as well. Um, but that should not matter because I feel like here they, they're coming to you, though. They're charging towards you. Um, there's definitely something that they want to say. There's definitely victory here. They want that victory with you, though. Someone could have also, um, they may have also recently purchased um, a new vehicle as well in, or a new form of transport. Uh, we do here have the two of wands. Okay, some fire energy here. Yeah, this is all choices on how to proceed forward. Yeah, I just split the deck here. We've got the page of um, cups and the bottom of the deck we also had the king of pentacles so i do see here that there is a love offer and for some of you uh yeah they uh, know that they need to apologize and explain themselves about something um and with that king of pentacles maybe for some of you this is not for all of you um your person could also um have children of their own if you're dealing with a masculine i'm picking up um, they may have also been in a committed relationship as well. Uh, my king and my queen of pentacles is someone that is in a committed relationship. Um, but yeah, no, they, I, you know, the chariot for me is fast moving energy. Okay. Um, it's all about action as well. So yeah, they're definitely coming towards you with that page of pentacles. They have something to express. Um, and we have the choice here on how to approach you. It's not a matter of if they want to, um, it's more of, when and how will they approach you though so let's focus on your side pisces okay we have the four of pentacles okay mm. so i am more inclined to say that maybe you're not really talking you're not really talking to your person um if you are it's very like sporadic it's not very consistent um so you're not really yeah revealing much even to your person to uh, everyone basically around you um, you know, you're not really talking about or revealing your thoughts, your emotions here, your next move. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, this is also, it's like when, you know, you, it's very hard for you to let go. Okay. You know, if you see the person's holding onto that pentacle, they don't want to let go here, but you're quite guarded as well, though. You, do, you, you don't want your heart broken here. We do have the seven of swords here. Okay. Hmm. What else do we have? The ten of pentacles 
I'm feeling a lot of yous, um, and that's why I picked up that apology. Um, you may have been on the end of some lying, cheating, stealing. Yeah. Maybe your person really was not being truthfully or honest with you as well. But you do want here longevity. Some of you may have been married to this person, okay? Um, or Pisces, maybe you were the one that was married as well, okay? So, yeah, this is all about longevity. It's my family card. There could be children involved. Bottom of the deck, we have a nine of pentacles, okay? Shows me that you are on the right path, okay? Um, but here you are, you know, just really focusing on yourself. That could be a form of distraction as well, though. Um, so I do here have the eight of wands, okay? Fastening energy again, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like there's a desire here that you do want your person to contact you. You may actually reach out first, okay? Um, yeah, again, showing that you could be at a distance, but the, yeah, that, that's Cupid's arrows here. So let's... Um, Let's do the mutual energy here. Okay, we have the six of pentacles. It's all about balance, harmony, healing, equal give and take. I feel like both of you want this. Absolutely. Well, yeah, it is in the middle. So, um, yeah, most definitely saying here that you want to work on this now. Now, the, the, the topic here of... Um, Hang on just one second. Hi, Pisces. My apologies for that. Someone was actually knocking at the door. <laughs> okay, yes. So I've got that six of pentacles here. So yeah, no, definitely here. Both of you actually want that equal give and take here. Yeah, there's definitely, could be definitely marriage here for some of you. Let's continue. Sorry. Got a bit lost there. They always knock when I'm doing a reading and then, um, yeah. <laughs> You know, when I'm kind of really into it, yeah, <laughs> don't like when I get interruptions. Yeah, look at that. We've got the star. Okay. Aquarius energy. Yeah, both of you are trying to be positive, trying to be hopeful about this connection here. It is destined, though. Have known each other in past lives, and you will know each other in future lives. This is a wish being fulfilled for both of you here. Maybe it's just coming together, finally. Oh, coming together. <laughs> We've got here two people coming together. There you go. That is my soulmate twin flame, Macard. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords. I feel like both of you have a lot to say to each other. Absolutely. Yep. Now, this is obviously a very basic story, what we're seeing here. I am going to get more messages now. We're going to get a lot more deeper um, into this, though. But I just split the deck. We have a page of uh, Swords. Yeah, a person's definitely uh, keeping an eye on you. They're definitely watching you. Not in a stalker, creepy way, but it's, it's like, I don't know, I feel like they want to, it's like they're waiting for a sign and when to approach you, though. Because I do see that um, we did have the page of um, cups. There is an apology coming, absolutely. Let's see. So what is it? What is it that they want to talk to you about? Yeah, I kind of feel there with the star card. You are each other's wish fulfillment. Both of you know that. You may be communicating on the 5D world as well. Ooh, what's this? Oh, okay. So we have the death card and we have the ace of pentacles that came out. So after an ending, we have a beginning. They may just offer you something solid here. All right. Let's go now with your person. <laughs> it's there again. Yeah, the ace of pentacles. That's what they're going to message you about. They want this brand new beginning with you. A solid offer, really, to have this committed relationship with you. Look at that. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. It would really, it would grant all their wishes here if you said yes to this. Yep. Oh, wow. Look at that. We've got the Two of Cups coming twice. Your person really loves you. I have to say it. I'm just sensing so much love coming from your person here. Twin flame, soulmate energy here. Very intense connection, though. We've got the page of cups coming up again. Yeah, there is definitely an apology also coming up um, that your person really wants to give to you. Um, now, they could be younger than you as well, because I did pick up that there was um, uh, an age difference here. Um, there could be children involved as well. Um, yeah, I feel like almost that, you know, Pisces, you may see your person as quite um, immature as well. Like, I feel like they still need some emotional growing up to do here, though. Um, but yeah, it's like they're stepping up, you know, with the chariot there. They're definitely coming towards you, though. 
And, you know, this is just beautiful energy here. It is a love offer. You know, it's an apology. It's an, an explanation. But I'm getting very sweet energy from your person here. I mean, look at this line here. That's beautiful. I love that. Yeah. What else do we have? The sun. Wow. Leo energy. It's like you make them very happy. There's something. It's like they get giddy. Like there is something here about you, Pisces, that just makes them so happy. The Knight of Wands, yeah, they could be coming towards you with this just passionate offer. Knights are all about messages, changes here. Wow. Now, I'm, I have to admit, I'm really liking this. Now, I feel, um, Pisces, that um, for some of you, this is my, it's kind of a really recently new connection. Um, or you've known this person for like maybe a few short years or a couple of months. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm sensing like I'm picking up something new, something fresh about this, though. So we do have here, um, there, there you are with the Pisces um, energy there, also Cancer. <coughs> Let's do your side. Now I'm just getting really like, just really nice energy from them. All right, let's clarify your side. I'm also sensing a lot of these did not want to know, like, both of you didn't want a lot of people to know about this relationship as well. I'm looking at the Seven of Swords and the, the moon that came out as well. Yeah, look at that. You want a passionate new start with your person. How beautiful is this? You've got the Ace of Wands. Your person has the Ace of Pentacles here. We've got the Hermit here. Virgo energy. So, yeah, at the moment I'm seeing both of you may not be talking. Um, I'm seeing here that you're definitely single as well. Okay. A bit of soul searching here. Okay. A bit of self-imposed isolation. You've really gone within. Um, and you're really asking yourself, Pisces, what do I want? What's going to make me really happy here? Um, you know, <clears throat> getting rid of any outside influences or what people think is right for me. And here, I, you know, both of you have an ace. You both want each other. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is a bit... Yeah, you're missing your person. Yeah, that's the four of cups here. Now, you know... Yeah, you could be really, I'm just here, like, you're really missing out on them. You don't want this to be a missed opportunity, though. And it won't be, because both of you are just meant to be together. Especially with that star card, it is the card of destiny. Something is being orchestrated behind the scenes here. You know, it is the card, card of sadness, you know, feeling despondent, depressed without your person here. Um, Pisces, some of you may be even over drinking as a means just to fall asleep, um, just to numb the pain, just to cope with what's happening here. Maybe Pisces... Um, some of you actually were not entirely honest with your person. Maybe you were not ready as well, but your person has not given up on you. Look at that, another ace. This is really good. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of um, Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be coming clean here towards your person. Um, wanting that fresh start, cutting away through the illusions, cutting away from all the BS. Yeah, and starting fresh on a clean slate, you know, and learning the mistakes of the past here. I feel like also it was either you, Pisces, or your person. Someone was not ready for this relationship, but now you are, though. Let's see. The Two of Swords. Okay. Yeah. A bit of indecision there on your part. Okay. The inability to make a decision how to move forward. But Spirit is saying you need to stop, Pisces, whatever you're doing. Make a decision. And once you do, like, don't look back. Page of Wands. Yeah. I feel like it's almost, yeah, you're a little bit on the fence here, yes or no, whether to reach out to your person, though. I do feel here that your person may reach out to you first, though. Absolutely. You've got the High Priestess. There you are. Pisces energy. Yeah, you're highly intuitive. Um, a lot of these actually could be tarot readers um, or interested in tarot reading. I mean, that's, yeah, that's why you're watching this video, though. Um, yeah, some of these could be massage therapists working in, like, in a healing field as well, metaphysical, doing a lot of reading as well. Yeah, you're highly intuitive here, though. But something will be revealed to you. Yeah, your person has more to reveal, okay? Um, we also have the Empress here, Taurus energy, okay? Some of you, um, for my feminines, you could be pregnant, wanting to get pregnant. Um, but your person sees you as very abundant, very attractive here. A lot of passion towards you. And they're also seeing you as very accomplished as well, though. Yeah, I'm going to get some... You know, I'm going to get some love messages for you. Look at that. I just split the deck. Soulmate. Wow. This is really beautiful energy. Actually, before I do that, I almost forgot to clarify the middle. 
I have to admit, I haven't seen a, a positive reading like this in a while. Let me just move the... There we are. I like shuffling on camera. Yeah, I haven't seen a reading like this in a really long time. You know, whatever happened in the past, I feel like it's just going to be a distant memory. This is this is beautiful, I have to admit. Especially a person side, though. Yes, there couldn't have been maybe a falling out between you. Um, maybe it's just both went your separate ways. It wasn't the right time. But, yeah, your person's feeling very passionate about you. Well, really, both of you are. All right, let's see. What else do we have? Yeah, look at that. Both of you will be communicating. You could be at a long distance as well, okay? We've got fast-moving energy here, okay? Really fast, just like the chariot um, that your person has. It's back-and-forth communication. Cupid's arrow. Look at that. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces there. Now, this could be you as well, or you could be um, connecting with a fellow water sign. But there is a lot of love here. Maybe sometimes a little bit hard to communicate that, especially if you're not talking. Okay. I feel like some of these just mutually parted ways. You couldn't have actually started off as friends as well. But this passion, this love is just festering. It's growing. It's boiling. But there is a lot of love here. Lots of emotions. Got the justice card. You could be dealing with a Libra here. Okay. Yeah. Someone wanting to balance the scales, writing what is wrong. Okay. Patching things up. Um, someone here could be going through some legalities as well. Could be through a divorce as well. Queen of Wands. Yeah, you could be connecting with um, a fellow air sign, okay? But yeah, you see, the king and the queen of wands are go-getters. They know what they want. They're passionate about it, and they just go and they get it, okay? So I do feel here that, uh, yeah, I feel like they're going to be reaching out to you first. Yeah, and they're going to balance the scales because I just feel like this was meant to be. I'm getting really nice, fun, beautiful energy from this connection, though. There you are, Pisces energy, also Cancer for me, okay? Yeah. I'm wondering here, because um, I'm, I'm kind of feeling that um, a lot of you had this connection, a little bit of a secret, okay? Um, things were hidden as well, internal fears, internal anxieties, you know, about the present, about, you know, the future as well. But this is a connection that's meant to be, though. Yeah, I, I kind of feel, Pisces, either you or your person, someone was not being entirely truthful here, but not in a menacing way. Um, maybe the other person or you didn't want to hurt, you know, someone else, Um yeah, but you, you, know, you could have met through your studies, through work, okay? Um, if you haven't, this message is the same for all of you, okay? Yeah, they want to work with you. Both of you want to collaborate together, okay? Be part of a team. Yeah, see, someone here walked away. Maybe both of you walked away, okay? Yeah, but we got the Ace of um, Swords. We got that brand new beginning here. I'm really feeling this was meant to be. Absolutely. Maybe uh, I'm also sensing it's either you or but I'm, I'm really sensing it's your person, though. This is going to happen quite soon, though. And very soon, Pisces, you're going to have to decide um, if you want to move forward, which I'm really thinking that you will. I do feel here your person may have been wrapping up something legal as well. Could have been with um, a breakup as well um, with someone else. Maybe they just weren't ready. Um, or Maybe it was you. All right, let's get some love messages for you. Oh, look at this. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. How beautiful is that? Just to know that there is someone out there, Pisces, that they absolutely love you for who you are and vice versa. We've got religious factors. Now, this could be Pisces that maybe you have different religions, um, maybe, for example, out there, um, maybe your person's atheist and you're highly spiritual. Um, it could also be, um, I'm also picking up different ways of doing things in life, raising children, marriage. Um, also picking up different accents here, different countries, different cultural backgrounds as well. Finances and career. I feel like this, that's actually playing quite heavy on your person's mind. There could be children involved. I did pick that up earlier. Okay, that's for some of you. Yeah, look at that. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. I feel like both of you feel this way. I'm getting that really strongly, though, from your person. Yeah, look at that. Make the effort. I feel both of you as well. I'm getting your, your person's energy quite strong here. We got the calling in your soulmate. Yeah, both of you are doing this. Express your love. Lots of passion as well. We also got honeymoon here. Like, literally going away together, both of you's passion. Oh, wow. I'm really liking this reading. I haven't seen a reading this positive 
in a very long time. I'm going to be honest. Um, I, I love readings like this. You know, it gets you all giddy, especially when we have, I mean, look how beautiful this is. And you got the two of cups twice. You got the star card. It's like you got a lot of aces as well, though. Beautiful. So what I'm going to do, Pisces, because I'm extra nosy, I'm going to take this to the extended. I'm going to clear the table, use different cards, and focus only 100% on your person. I want to dig deeper into their thoughts, their feelings, other actions as well, and this whole situation, possible outcome as well. And Pisces, I have not forgotten about you. I'll also be asking advice for you as well. So I'll see you, Pisces, over at the extended. Uh, but if this is where we depart, Pisces, I wish you the very best. Love, light, healing, and abundance to you. Bye.